Robert was furious. The king of the Franks had taken his lands. Had his lands been given to another duke, or even incorporated as part of the king's own domain, Robert would have been irritated, but he would have only grumbled. No, this was far worse. The Frankish king, under the counsel of self-enriching advisers, had given his lands to the Norse, the same Norse who had killed Robert's own father. This was not a simple bargain with raiders. This was an act intended to punish Robert. Robert's brother, Odo, had once been king, elected by the Frankish dukes who overthrew a great-grandson of Charlemagne. When Odo died, another descendant of Charlemagne took the crown. This king proved to be as ineffective as his dynastic predecessor and as stupid. Robert had a decision to make. Could he rely on the support of the dukes to elect him king? Or would he need to take the kingship by force? Robert, your father served the king and it won him only a Viking's killing blow. Your brother was wiser. He overthrew the king and took the crown for himself. Since his death, however, another weakling rules. But replacing the king will not be easy. You must choose to win the support of the dukes through bribes and any other means, or defeat them entirely and seize Paris for yourself. Marriage has been announced between two ducal houses. Chassez-le, chassez-le, ok, c'est 
Remember, you can tribute resources to other dukes to win their support. Once they fully support you, you will receive benefits such as unique technologies. They will also fight your enemies. Marriage has been announced between two ducal houses. Consider the alliances of rival dukes before fighting them. You can even break an alliance by gaining the support of one side. Hey, 
c'est fait. Reste hey. fort. A marriage has been announced between two ducal houses. Thank <laughs> you. 
Duke has pledged his unwavering support to your claims and has broken all of his previous alliances. He will fight with you against your enemies. Ok, 
Duke has pledged his unwavering support to your claims and has broken all of his previous alliances. He will fight with you against your enemies. A marriage has been announced between two ducal houses. For your service, the king has made you Count of Paris. This is only the beginning of your ambitions.
Duke has pledged his unwavering support to your claims and has broken all of his previous alliances. He will fight with you against your enemies. Ferrax, Pastisor, 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 Prêt. Oh, 
Duke has pledged his unwavering support to your claims and has broken all of his previous alliances. He will fight with you against your enemies. Duke has pledged his unwavering support to your claims and has broken all of his previous alliances. He will fight with you against your enemies. By flattery and cunning, you have united the squabbling dukes to a single purpose, to elect you king. This is a triumph of politics. But even now, there are whispers that you relied too much on others to become king. Robert was crowned king, but as the candle that burns brightest is the shortest lived, he died after only one year. He was killed in battle fighting the previous king and his Norman supporters. Nonetheless, his seizure of power changed France forever. Although three more descendants of Charlemagne would rule, that famous dynasty waned over the coming decades. The last of that house died in a hunting accident allowing Robert's grandson to take the throne. Named Hugh, this grandson was called Capet. His dynasty would be known as the Capetians and rule France for eight centuries. 